But on the contrary, um, Prime Minister May was on the phone to Trump uh, only yesterday, um, absolutely expressing our deep, deep uh, disappointment and concern about where this was going and the, the trade war that this could lead to. So Prime Minister May was leading the charge, but we are still members of the European Union and we will fight for an exemption from these tariffs um, with the European Union as a rock. Going forward, just talking about the uh, UK's trading arrangements, uh, clearly the US are number one on the list uh, in terms of uh, future counterparties to, to sign a trading agreement with. Um, who else have the UK started speaking to already behind the scenes on a future trading relationship? Yeah, well, of course, America is enormously important. It's our biggest export market. Um, but of course, we have, in, with our new Department for International Trade, set up 21 working groups with other countries, of course. Amongst those will be important to be Japan or Canada, um, continuing our relationship that we have in our agreement with South Korea, but also looking to other countries such as Australia and New Zealand in order to make sure that we are um, acting globally and taking part of that 90% of economic growth that is expected to come from outside of the European Union. Now, the UK paper on, uh, well, the Brexit deal is supposed to be published. It was supposed to be published in the next couple of weeks, but there are now some reports saying that that white paper could potentially be published after the June summit that's coming up in a couple of weeks' time. I'm just wondering if perhaps, well, one, if you give, give, give us a little bit of guidance on when that white paper is going to be published, and two, whether or not we're running out of time. Well, there's an awful lot happening in the, in, in the House of Commons and in the House of Lords yeah, right now. Yes. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. business is probably going to be delayed on, on a certain, uh, to a certain extent anyway. But of course, the negotiations are at an absolutely critical point in Brussels. And until we can understand where we are, perhaps it's best that we do postpone um, that white paper a little bit so we can make sure that when we announce it, we are confident about the direction we're taking. And can we talk about the EU withdrawal bill? Of course, that is coming back to the House of Commons next week with multiple amendments from the House of Lords. Uh, are you expecting the amended version of this bill to be passed? I mean, how, how, is, the, how is the government looking as far as that vote is concerned going into next week? Because there are some reports that it may be difficult for Mrs May uh, to actually push this one through. Uh, the passage of this bill has not been as smooth as the government and uh, the Prime Minister would have liked it to be, but I think she's showing real determination now in, in challenging uh, the House of Lords amendments and making sure that we see progress. We have to be very clear, the UK is negotiating its future trading relationship with the European Union and we need to have our withdrawal in order to proceed in those negotiations. So we really need to get clarity on the direction that we're taking and I believe that the Prime Minister is leading the way in doing so. I hope that the government and I hope the House responds in the right way. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.